Welcome back, guys, to the Mind Crack server. We're back in spawn again, still, <laughs> for all time, at least until 1.7. And today, I want to spend some more time making spawn look nice. Uh, got some feedback from the guys and also from you from the comments from a few episodes ago when we did this lantern design. And uh, there wasn't really an overall consensus, to be honest. Everybody kind of liked something a little bit different. But one of the more frequent picks was this guy, who's fairly simple. And so we may go with this guy in places, but I think what we're going to use quite a bit of is this little guy, who's fairly minimal. And we may change what goes on top, but I think we may use this one. Uh, because we can do some cool daylight sensor stuff where the light is going to turn on and off based on the time of day. And it also it also goes well with the design of this. This little bit of the bridge there. I thought it would uh, play in nicely. And then once I'm done sort of doing this overall lighting uh, upgrade, I guess you might say, uh, I have no problem if someone else wants to come and try their hand at it and change Everything I've done, I, I really don't mind. So let's grab this and this and this. Um, a few repeaters. And, oh, we will need those torches. Okay. Um, but before we do that, actually, let's jump over to the, or run over to the map room. This place is, <laughs> these paths are, uh, we're not exactly on a grid here. Sometimes I get lost trying to remember the quickest way to get around. Uh, someone suggested, though, that I should put some glowstone behind the maps here so that they're a little brighter. Because, uh, well, now that um, it doesn't matter that there's wood behind them now because you can't see it anymore. So I thought that was a good idea. I'm not going to use glowstone, though. I'm going to use jack-o'-lanterns, as you might expect. Let's see, if we put one there and one there, that would be two blocks there, two blocks there. Yeah, I guess that's probably okay. Let's see if this, uh, what this does. Let's just do it on, how about let's do it on one side and then compare and contrast. Okay. Maybe I want to make a, oh, what happened there? Oh, that's just it. Uh, it's just despawning. <laughs> They're still there. Whew. I thought they all popped out all of a sudden. Okay, let's put that there. Let's make a little staircase then. And put the item frame back. Good. And the map. It's still down here. Yeah, I think that will fix the lighting issues. Good. Oh, another thing we should probably mention is um, I got a lot of dislikes on my last video. I think it's by far the most dislikes I've ever had on a single video before. It has over 500 dislikes. What I did, uh, besides putting all the maps back on, I just wanted to fiddle around with this. There is a super secret settings button. This is a sort of a test for different rendering options. That's all those different graphical styles, all the different rendering things like the Game Boy mode and the, the motion blur and all that kind of stuff, the fuzziness. Uh, I just wanted to mess around with them. <laughs> so calm down, calm yourselves. <laughs> We're not gonna do that every time. That was just a one-off to uh, have some fun with that. Let's see, I guess we do kind of need a staircase. Hmm. Let's do it like that. Doomp, doomp. And it should be high enough. I want to put one there. Yeah, and it's just going to go flying off into the wild blue yonder. People, now, I um, it didn't bother me when I was watching it. I think what happens is the person who's not... Oh, come on. It doesn't matter, but I kind of want this facing sideways. There we go. The, the people watching it aren't controlling the mouse, and so they don't know which direction it's going to turn at any moment. And maybe that amplifies the effects. But a lot of people complained about motion sickness and feeling a little sick, which I wasn't really expecting that much of. But man, did people complain. They like all the, and they just came out of the woodworks. Man, I'm throwing up. I barfed, yada, yada. 
But uh, calm yourself. That was just a one-time thing. And if it bothers you so much, just stop watching. <laughs> just stop watching. Okay. So let's put this last one up. Oh, crap. What happened there? I think I messed something up. Why is that there? Did someone... That's not right. Get off of there. Um, let me go see what number that is. Okay, this is number 154. Let me grab my notes. Uh, I've got like a huge thing written out. 154. Yes, top, second to the right. Yeah, that's correct. Oh, it was rotated wrong. It was rotated wrong. That's what it is. See how I have it in my hand now? It was rotated to the left. There. Oh, I forgot you could do that with uh, item frames. So I must have right-clicked it by accident. Totally slipped my mind. Okay, but it is definitely brighter now. Let's get rid of this. And uh, Kurt swung by, and he was talking about how it might, uh, he needs like a viewing platform. And I don't want to put something permanent here because it's going to block the view as you walk in. Uh, but people were talking about putting a double extender in the floor here that you could turn on and off to raise yourself up. Maybe like a little a staircase would come up. Uh, I may do that. Uh, I'm going to look into that. Not this episode, but I just wanted to brighten that up while I remembered it. Uh, since people were talking about it, let's um, dump this wood in here that I'm not going to need. Okay, good. All right, let's head back over to spawn. Uh, so one of my like initial thoughts when I'm critiquing my own work, which I, I always try to like find the weaknesses in what I'm doing or what could be done better. And one of my self critiques is that the jack-o'-lanterns are just all over the place. They're a little too visible. And the shrubberies, the little hedges, are maybe just a little too random. Whoa! Where you at? You came from that way? There you are. Oh, sorry. Let's check the death games. B00 was just on, but he logged off. Let's check anyway. There was a funny incident. Yeah, it's still generic B. There was a funny incident with pause on pause and generic B. Watch out for pause on pause's next mind crack episode because something funny happened and I don't want to spoil it. Oh, and one other thing, I did. I was at the Ender Ender, and in the effort to get Feather Falling 4 boots, I ended up um, with some other good stuff. Protection 4, Protection 4, Protection 4, Protection 3, Feather Falling 4, Unbreaking 3. Yes, sir! And I also have Knocked Back 2 on my sword now and repaired my pick. I'm feeling nice and dandy. Dandy as candy. Okay, so um, let's get like a little, I need just a small little temporary viewing platform here. And I'll take this down by the end of the episode. I just want to be able to look at the overall layout of this little, this little section here we're going to make like a little test of around the pond. Right about to here is fine. Okay, so we are going to use daylight sensors to set up some lighting that will turn on at night and turn off during the day. And we're going to hide the sensor under the water here and ver at various places under the water in the, the river. Uh, but we're going to start here. Or maybe we should start over by the bridge since it kind of matches that. Yeah, let's do that. Let's start over by the bridge. And one thing I would like to do is see how see how many jack-o'-lanterns there are here and how visible they are. I just want to reduce that. And uh, some people suggested on the Reddit to put them down one block lower and put either another glass block or a stained piece of glass. Something like that. I may do that as well. The pro only problem with that is it reduces the, uh, the light levels by one and it will probably allow monsters to spawn in the middle of the road. Okay, so we can't put... A lamp right there on the edge of the bridge. 
We could put it... Let's go ahead and get rid of this. Do I have an axe? Yeah, let's get rid of that. And let's get rid of that. One decision to make is... Um, are the lamps paired or are they going to alternate? For instance, are they going to be like opposite each other like that? Or are they going to do the kind of this thing where they alternate? Now, the, the sort of randomized pattern of this road makes me think that they should probably alternate. The more symmetry we try to impose, the more I think it conflicts with this randomized pattern. Which is one of the reasons I wasn't quite feeling some of these other lamp designs. Because they're a little too organized. We need something we can just place... Um, boink, 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 <laughs> so, so to speak. And I think that one fits. And we'll, maybe we'll put this one on the bridges or something like that. Not this bridge. I mean the bigger bridges. Um, okay. So first thing we'll need is that. Then we're going to need... The, we're going to need that. We're going to need these guys. Whoops. It's going to be like that. Pachunk, pachunk. Okay. And then we'll need the slabs, I guess. Like that. Um, now, what does that actually look like? It's much darker. Maybe I should use the oak wood. Maybe I should use that oak wood. Because it blends in with this. What else is oaky around here? The town hall uses oak wood. Do any other details use oak wood? All the bridges. All right, maybe I should switch to oak wood. Let's do that. Okay, so I, I actually changed my mind. I changed my mind. So this is what I ended up doing. I ended up integrating the lamp design into the fences. Or stone walls, whatever, same thing. Same difference, so we're still using that basic design, but I decided to put it inside, or make it part of the wall, and here's the reason. Uh, I don't have the wood on me anymore, but b basically what was happening, when you put the, the piece of wood there, these stone walls were connecting to it, and it just didn't quite look right. It was, it was sort of disrupting the wall, but then if you put it like there, for instance, it was way too close to the road. And the whole thing, it just wasn't looking right. It looked like something I added that didn't really fit in, even though it was the same blocks as the bridge here. So I tried putting it in the wall and it just sort of clicks, I think. I think it looks right. I've managed to remove a lot of the jack-o'-lanterns. And I think that's good. Um. A little bit later, I'm going to run through and clean up the hedges. And I think what will make it look even better is um, I'm going to do, after we get the lamps done and sort of wired up as a test, sort of like a, a little test, um, I'm going to I'm gonna put some hedges in here that don't have jack-o'-lanterns in here. And uh, I think the, the few ones you do see will be much less noticeable as sort of a, you know, the scar on the landscape type of thing. We can get rid of this one, for instance, because it's so close to that. And it's in between these two and this jack-o'-lantern there. Um, so there's B-double-O running through. Um, they're busy talking. Okay, I'll, I'll ask him his opinion later. So let's take a look really quickly here, and then we're going to set up the daylight sensor. We're going to put it under there somewhere. So I think they look all right. One thing I'm not sure about is around this lake. I added two there, one there and one there. Uh, I think it blends in very nicely with the front there. And this spot here looked sort of empty, so I decided to put one here. And then once I did that... The other spots looked empty, but then around here there's the bench, so it's like, oh, what do I do? Not real sure. So these guys in the front here may be going bye-bye, but uh, one thing we do need to do is look for a spot to put our daylight sensor. There's a lot of gravel here, which means we may have some issues. Uh, let's put it... It doesn't, have, it, it, it doesn't have to be like in the middle of the lake. In fact, it would be better if it's not that visible. So let's put it right, where's a good spot? Right here? 
Right there. Okay. Yeah. That'll work. Okay. So, daylight sensor there. Boink. And then a pane of glass above it. Boink. And then we need to get down to it. We need to get down beneath the road. Uh... Let's see. Let me get a shovel. How do we get down there? The problem is most of this road is gravel. I, it may be kind of unavoidable to... Uh... Uh, it may be a little unavoidable to... I'll have to fix the road afterwards. Maybe we can actually come down here. Yeah, there we go. There's a good little access port. Well, I am just about finished up for the work I'm going to do today on this project. I've done a number of things. I recessed the remaining jack-o'-lanterns under a pane of glass. And I've been uh, putting some shrubberies over top of them and trying to make them a little less chaotic, a little bit more regular. When you put hedges down a road, it's usually fairly regular. They're usually kind of straight. Our road isn't straight, so I'm trying to strike a balance. Uh, here's one. And I also don't want to put hedges just all the way down the road because then you can't really see the stone walls because the stone walls aren't quite as tall as them. Um, obviously, I haven't gotten to this section yet. We're, we're doing this uh, starting area. This road right here that goes all the way down to that bridge. Doing that as a test case scenario. B00 had a look at it. He liked it a lot, actually, which is nice. It's always good to get positive feedback. The first attempt was a little rough, but I think this is much better. You can tell a lot of these lamps are off, and the sun's about to go down. So quickly before the sun goes down, let's come have a look at this. Okay, there's the sensor. There is a repeater coming out of it pointing that way, and I want to be up top when the sun actually goes down. Okay, so the repeater's on the other side of that block, powering this block, powering that line. So this goes up, this is right beneath that lantern that's right up there, the redstone lamp, and that is obviously unpowering it, so it's off during the daylight, and this is a tunnel I made under the road. It goes all the way down that way, and all the way down that way, we're not going to power the whole system with one daylight sensor, but this section is, is going to be this one daylight sensor, and I'll probably do the other side of the road eventually as well. They're all off. Now, I want to test it. Uh, this is the first time I've been above ground to watch. Let's actually come up here. Uh, and it has gotten jammed, which I'm a little worried about. I don't know if there's a bug involving daylight sensors I'll have to look for. But it has gotten jammed. Something to do with the redstone, uh, the repeater, continually sending out power. I've looked at... Oh! There they all went. <laughs> they all turned on. Awesome. Okay, so it works. I'm wondering if it'll send out power during a full moon. I may have to modify this system uh, to use a comparator with the right distance. I'm not sure. We'll have to look into that. But that looks like it works. And I think it is markedly improved. The shrubs aren't nearly as chaotic. The jack-o'-lanterns aren't nearly as visible underneath that pane of glass. We could even replace that with a stained glass, a green pane of glass. I may do that to blend in even more. But I think that looks pretty nice. And the effect of them all popping on as soon as the sun sets is pretty cool. So I guess that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, I'll continue doing this kind of stuff in the remaining area of spawn off camera. Hope you enjoyed it. See you guys later. Take it easy. Have a good day. Where's my ladder? There it is. Bye-bye. I'll remove this too. Don't worry about that. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.